Hi folks, it's Carlton from the Pharmacy Seeds Network. I uh, just thought I would do a video uh, showing some of what I'm doing for work right now. I know I haven't been posting much. Uh, this year has been quite the transitional year. Uh, if you follow my channel, you know that uh, I moved to British Columbia, got married, and we moved back to New York. And that is a very short version of all the events. Um, but we are back here in New York. Um, and I am not on the farm anymore, so uh, I'm just working. And I now work for White Clay Kill Preservation. And uh, we basically do window restorations and other historical restorations, but primarily windows. So I thought I would share some of the work that I'm doing in the meantime. So I hope you uh, find this informative or interesting, and I hope you enjoy. November 15th, 2021, here at White Clay Kill Preservation East Shop. This is where we do uh, most of the glass, well, pretty much all of the glass removal, uh, the paint stripping, the sanding, and the prep work before the windows go over to West Shop. And that's where they get uh, the painting, the glazing, all the finishing touches to make them look nice. And what we do here is we take old windows and we restore them basically back to like brand new. So, uh, I had meant to save a couple of these out from this job with glass in them, but I forgot to do that before I got around to getting the camera out, so I apologize. But uh, they come with the glass in them. Sometimes the panes are cracked, usually they're in good good standing. And we try to get out the glass without breaking anything. Um, we've developed a few techniques to make that a little bit easier. Anyway, uh, it takes some time to get the glass out. You've got to go around and remove all the glazing that would be here on the edge with the glass underneath it and sometimes it's like concrete sometimes it's like rubber sometimes it's in between the two uh, but anyway you remove all the glazing and you free the glass uh, you take the points out there's usually points sitting there holding the glass in place also and then um, it goes on to the next pro part of the process that's where we take a heat gun and uh, we basically heat all the paint at least typically um, that makes it kind of like uh, it, it like blisters up and then when it cools it kind of spreads apart again and it cracks and it basically kind of turns it into a candy shell so we can scrape it out a little easier. Once we scrape it off, the windows look like this. We go through and scrape all the flat surfaces first. So that's like the front face, the top edge, and the back face. And then Secondarily, we go back and we scrape out the profiles, which are these, where you can see the paint is still on these. So, I happen to have a profile set up here right now that I'm getting ready to scrape the next section on. Uh, I just finished doing these, and you can see uh, we get them pretty clean with the scraper, and it takes a lot of care and attention to detail to do that without digging marks into the wood. Be amazed how little pressure a scraper will, will actually just take a huge gouge out. You don't want that because our next phase is to take sandpaper and we sandpaper these down nice and clean and smooth. Uh, the big trick with doing these windows is getting these corners. These corners uh, are a little bit tricky but what I do is I take the heat gun um, and I do the corner separate from the straights part of the profile. So when I get to a corner, I take the heat gun, and I hit it with the heat gun, and I get it nice and hot. And then I come in with an X-Acto knife, or a sheetrock knife, and I just kind of scrape clean, like that. And I basically use that paint while it's still uh, like rubbery almost, and I can get down to there. So I scrape the edges of the corners out with the knife to get a clean corner, and then I take the other scraper tool which is this little one, and then I go back and I kind of clean these up. And you can kind of angle it, Let's see if I can get you a better camera angle here, kind of angle it to get in there. And get the corners nice and clean. see how this still has some stuff in the edge. That's where we come back with the X-Acto knife. 
I apologize for my horrible can work right now. That's pretty good. I like to get them super clean because those corners really make the look once these are painted back up. So here's two different phases of it. Uh, with the heat gun I go through, <clears throat> I heat it up, I strip the outer layer off with that, then I go back over this with the heat gun and that makes this blister up like this. You see all that blister in there? So basically that scrapes off as a powder pretty easily now. So this is the first stripping and this is after I've scraped off the powder. And we're down to pretty much wood. And then from here we just go to sanding. I might come back and pick off well, no, that's pretty good. Corners are cleaned out pretty well. And anything else I find in these corners that isn't quite sharp, I'll clean up when I come back for sanding. All right, that's it for now. Okay, so just real brief, there are two different tools we use for heating the paint to get it to blister. I've done a sample area here so you can see where it's blistered and where it hasn't and you can compare the two. Uh, this gun is an infrared heat gun. This is a Cobra... Cobra speed heater. Uh, this works really well. The other tool we use, and I find, I find this one is a little faster than the heat gun, but the heat gun is great for getting in certain uh, tight spots like corners. So this is the other one we use. This is a heat gun. This one's made by Porter Cable. It basically just puts out hot air. And I use that for the corners. Because I can get into the corner without burning any of the other wood. And then I'll go in and scrape like I talked about. But for this demonstration, we're going to use the speed heater. So what I do is I go along and I get this hot. And just about the time that stuff starts to smoke, I'll start moving it down. And I'll show you, I kind of take it away and have a look and go back. And then I'll work my way back along. And then what I do, I got the camera in my hand here at the moment, but what I'll do is I'll take the big scraper, I'll get a section about half of one of these frames hot and it'll get kind of like greasy, like clay almost, and I'll just scrape the top layer of it off. And that's what exposes that white surface of the more crystalline stuff underneath. You can just let this cool and chisel it off, but I find you get a smoother, cleaner removal when you don't, when you use this method. Uh, you tend not to do as much gouging or damage to the wood underneath, and since we're trying to restore these profiles, we're trying to reduce damage. So let's just try this quick. If I can switch the camera over just to show. You can see where the heat spot ends and it stops peeling. And I'll go back and I'll hit this lower channel too while it's still warm. And you can see where it started to cool already in spots. So I'll come back and hit it again with the heat gun to reheat it a little bit. And I'll get these two channels clear, and then I'll come back up and I'll do the top section. But that's how you do it. And then I'll come along and I'll heat from here down to the other end, the other corner, and I'll run that section. And you notice I'm staying about an inch out of the corner here. That's where we'll come back with the heat gun and hit that with the heat gun. And we'll scrape the corner out with a razor blade, and then we'll pull it out with a smaller scraping tool. All right, just a quick explanation. Okay, so I think the last update, we were scraping profiles. They've been scraped and sanded. Um, I should have got some shots of different various stages of sanding, but you get the idea. We get all the stuff off. You know, the surface looks like this. And then we sand it down with uh, 120 grit and then 220 grit. We get it down to nice and smooth. It basically is like factory again. It feels almost like plastic, it's so smooth. And uh, we get the corners nice and clean. 
because those are where imperfections will really show up. And uh, we get it as smooth as we can. If there's gouges or dings in it, those will be finished up over in the other shop. They'll come back and do some fill or some patch or some epoxy, depending on what's appropriate. The next phase that we got to go through is sanding all the flat surfaces on here. And so I've done a couple of these, so I will show you a comparison between one that's sanded and one that isn't. Since you can't really feel the difference, and what we're looking for is a really smooth, clean texture that when we put paint on it, uh, no none of the wood imperfections will show through because it's been sanded totally smooth and clean. So you get a nice clean visual presentation when we're done. That's what we're after. So we come over here to the sanding station. <coughs> we're really fortunate we have a sander vac to go with our orbital sander. And man, does that make a difference on uh, dust. Uh, so we take them from like this you can see we've scraped them down pretty clean. I mean, they are pretty clean. They're actually fairly smooth considering. But um, there still are some rough spots on the surface. And there's still a little bit of this paint. And that'll make the primer look kind of weird if we don't get rid of that. So what we do is we sand them down to look like this. And you can visually see the difference here, I'm sure. And uh, this is actually very smooth now. And so now that when this gets painted, there won't be any imperfections showing through. And uh, what I'll try to do when I get a chance is either when we go to the job to install these, or maybe I'll even get a chance to go over to the shop and show you some of the other steps of the process over at the other shop where all the finishing work is done. Just thought I would do a quick update and kind of show our progress. So that's it for now. So I've been meaning to get a video clip of these windows from the same job uh, prior to anything being done to them without removing glass without anything so you can see how they start and then uh, when I get a chance I'll get a clip of them finished and installed and you can see the the real difference but I just want to give you a close-up look here you can see all that checking and cracking in the paint there you can see how thick the paint is how many layers of paint are here and that takes a lot of work to get all that off. We go down to wood, as you've seen, and that's how we get a really nice, smooth finish. And the glass is good in these, so that's nice. This is pretty old glass in these. <coughs> so uh, I just thought I would get a shot, and uh, I'll flip it over quick and show you the other side. So here's the other side. This is the outside, which you can tell by the glazing. And uh, you can see they're a lot rougher out here. You can see they've, you know, their paints come off and they've been repainted over the years multiple times. You can see this glazing is all beat up and uneven. And when we're done, none of that is like that. Everything is crystal clear, clean lines, smooth, nice. That's the kind of work we do here at White Clay Kill Preservation. So, I just thought I would uh, get a shot. Right. Well, I meant to include in this video um, uh, a clip of the, uh, the other side of the, pres the restoration work on the windows where we, uh, well, where the other shop actually puts in the glass back in, puts the glazing in, primes and paints them and gives them that nice finished product look. Uh, I did not get a chance to do that for this video, um, but maybe in some future video I'll get some video clips of that and share. But uh, just want to uh, just want to insert this piece into the video so you would understand how we jumped from uh, stripping windows down and prepping them to <laughs> finished product. So I hope you uh, enjoy. So here working with white clay kill preservation. We've been redoing the windows in this gigantic house. We've been working on this job for months. But uh, we just installed, most of the windows are in now. You can see this is old glass. You can see the, uh, the imperfections in it and such. But uh, these are coming out really nice. And uh, it's nice to finally have the plastic off here and have, uh, have these windows back in. I'm looking nice and clean. This is by no means a full tour. 
Just wanted to get a clip here. But they did come out nice. Oh yeah. White clay kill preservation.